So this particular audio cast is not PG-13. Please do not share it with your children because it could possibly sound mean. But what it's supposed to sound is a little bit of butt monkey funny, but the truth is it's the reality of my life, and I don't find that funny. You see, I have waited almost 10 years for one kiss from one woman, and I can tell you that is true because of when I fell in love with her. But the other truth is true that I am a man of honor and a man of loyalty and a man of purity, and as a priest, I practice my three knots. My three knots are pretty standard in any Catholic faith and in my faith as well. But I don't have to explain those knots to you as a pagan priest. What I can say to you is don't fuck me over with the fact that I'm waiting for that kiss. And don't fucking walk off to me and try to kiss me because I'll deck you. My lips are mine and you can do whatever the fuck you want with yours, but don't come near me. There's only one kiss I'm waiting for and it's not yours. In truth, I am telling you the truth about my life. That I chose my first wife and I chose my first love. But this one I'm choosing for a lifetime is my right to choose. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth and can you believe it? A guy like me who can do all kinds of things and create all kinds of content in a matter of seconds is waiting for that kiss. Can a, you believe that a man today would keep himself pure, would want to be right for a girl to the point that he's waiting for one kiss? And can you fucking believe that a girl is so miserly with her mouth that she didn't take the time after me suffering through eight years of her divorce to wait for that kiss that she didn't show up to give it to me. Give me a fucking break. But as a priest, I have the right to say, I feel okay. Because I feel okay, because I still have hope in the Lord. I still have those 10,000 plus signs that God shows me, smacks me with almost every day for her, and yet I'm still waiting for that fucking kiss. And then that question dawns on you when one pretty set of eyes walks in front of you, and you go, wait a minute. Did I just go through all this fucking shit to, to meet someone else? Or did I go through all this shit because God is going to deliver his promise? And that my mustard seed of hope is really available to me and all we're waiting for is that one to get it. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth about our love lives and my love life is no joke. If you ever come up and play this shit at me, you'll be, be, well, be better to be wise. Because nobody in this lifetime, nobody in your lifetime... Nobody in my lifetime has any right to make fun of somebody who's that loyal, that honorable, and in love. Don't you fucking think I'm not Rob Roy in this. I know who I love. Don't you fucking think you're going to tell me who I can and can't love. And don't you fucking think you tell me you have rights to my body. The people that were playing at me because of torture in a cell somewhere to the point that I can't even feel a fly land on me, I'm going to fucking kill. But don't you fucking think I'm not passionately in love with the one I'm in love with just because I've met another girl. You see, I do have two loves since my wife left, and possibly a third on the way. But the problem with God is that he gets impatient, and he gives us COVID every day. When a girl doesn't heed the Lord's reactions, when the girl doesn't listen to a God's guidance, we don't know what he'll say other than maybe she's just not mature enough to do this, but for God's sakes, it's just a kiss.